What is going on guys? This is Red Ninja and I'm um, bringing you some more zombie plane with some random pieces of shit. That's what these lobbies are full of. Pieces of shit shit talkers. This guy's got a round 68 on his leaderboard and he completely sucks ass. And have absolutely no respect for him, and he likes to run his mouth. So I invite him to this game. We're gonna do 20 rounds of no box, which doesn't really turn out that way. I already had this game uploaded with no commentary, but the reason I decided to put commentary on is because there's more to this story as we will see it unfold. You know, we're gonna have more than just this game. Basically, what happened was I played with this guy. You know, he talked a bunch of shit. I said, hey, let's go 20 rounds, no box. What that what that means is you don't hit the box for 20 rounds. That way it's equal. You know, we're going to use wall guns and sallies. You know, that's the only rule. Don't hit the box. That way, you know, he, don't, he or I do not get a thunder gun, ray gun. There's, you know, there's no advantages. You know, if you want to use a shotgun off the wall like this dumbass is doing, then, you know, then that's your own fault. He could have grabbed an M14, but he's, his IQ is too low. Um, you know, the shotgun holds is probably about as, it holds two shots. It's probably what his IQ is, probably two. So, um, anyway, even though I'm playing like complete crap today, which still isn't bad, but, you know, my shots are just off. And, you know, I have better days. I have good days, bad days, but even on my worst day, I'm better than these fucking lobby scrubs. So yeah, you know, he's willing to do that, so, you know, I have respect for him for, for that, you know, at least he joined the, the game and said, yeah, let's do it, you know, I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll get more kills than you, you know, that's basically what his thing was. I had the mute him, uh, I didn't really care, I mean, he, he, it wasn't he was talking so much shit during the game, it's just his mic was, um, he had a real busted up mic that was just causing, like, static. So, I'm like, well, you know, fix your mic. He couldn't fix it. So, you know, I just said, well, I'm going to mute him, take my headset off. You know, here we go. I'm not listening to that shit. So, you know, we played. Uh, basically, what happens, he downs around 10. I had more kills. He ended up rage quitting because he took the down. Uh, really unfortunate. But what I should have did was... Um, I wanted to get the power on before dogs. I would hope he would have had jug in him. Then he, he may have lasted longer. At least hopefully he would have lasted a little bit longer. Because it's usually... That's when the fun really begins. I didn't really get to like shoot way past this guy the way I'd like to. You know, like I normally do past these scrubs. You know, mind you, this guy's been around 68. Uh, he probably did it legit too. I mean, he's probably a le totally legit round 68 um you know probably didn't cheat at all so you know that's but but he doesn't know how to play this game I mean, there's a big difference between him and me <sighs> but you know there's there's gonna be more to this story i ended up running into one of his buddies that uh pl tried to play sneaky with me he tried to play off really cool we'll see in the next game next game is really interesting this guy tried to play off cool like he just wanted to have a friendly you know non-competitive game because this game is like totally competitive you know i'm out to get the most kills he's out to get the most kills you know so that's why we're gonna do you know that's why it's no box you know it's not fair i don't usually do um especially with a round 68 i mean unless you, you gotta be fucking terrible well you gotta be like his friend his friend's fucking terrible his friend can't even out kill me with a thunder gun but usually it should be easy to outkill somebody with a fucking thunder gun. I mean, you know, you've got the thunder gun's fucking totally OP. If you can't uh, steal all the kills with a thunder gun, you're just a fucking, you're just fucking worthless, totally worthless. I mean, you re you really should just stop breathing the air. You know, you're just totally a waste. If you're that that fucking stupid that you can't outkill somebody with a thunder gun, but. As you see, his friend, who's around 58 on the leaderboard, um, can't do that. See, he grabbed the max ammo right away. I mean, he's not trying to... You know, this isn't meant to be a, a friendly game. This isn't meant to, you know... Anything goes. I mean, if he wants to grief me, he could try to grief me if I want to grief him. I usually don't grief in these games because there's really no point to it. I want to get the most kills. I don't want to sit there and... You know, if someone tries to grief me in these, they're really stupid. 
because I'm just going to get more kills. I'm just going to kill all the zombies. I mean, in 20 rounds, it's really difficult. It's going to be really difficult to fucking run zombies into somebody. I'm just going to kill them. And, you know, they're just helping me out. So, not really any point in griefing. Now, you can do stuff like, um, you know, like I would do if we take the teleporter. You know, I can make him lose his gun. I can throw the nades down. I can do dirty shit. You know, I can... I could do little grief shit. I could pull a trap on them and kind of like try to block the way. You know, and there's stuff like that. But other than, you know, running around like hoarding up a, a, a horde of zombies and just trying to run them in. A, so, I mean, it, the guy would have to be a complete moron to try to do it. You actually have to be, um, uh, I brock it. There's a guy in the lobby named I. He's a fucking idiot. He, he, he tried to do that shit. He's a fucking scrub. He likes the grief randoms. He, he ran into me. You know, it's funny when these guys run into me and after they get their ass handed to them, they don't talk shit anymore. They become deaf mutes. They, you, you can't get another word out of them. Both this guy and his friend, I've binged them so many messages, probably about five, five messages apiece, I can't get a reply to them. You know, it's funny. They just couldn't stop running their mouths. They were binging me with messages after message after message. You know, talking and talking and talking. And then once they get their ass handed to them, complete silence. Complete silence. They won't talk. In fact, his buddy just got offline went to bed, you know, after he got his ass kicked. And we'll see that pretty soon because this game only runs to around 10. And, and that's so unfortunate. I didn't even want to post it up. But I was like, you know, that's why I wanted to repost it and put some commentary because it's so short. You know, I've, when these games go, I like them at least go to like, you know 15 16 or something let them let them take it down then and rage quit which is still pathetic i mean i like the ones like that you know if they take it down and they don't rage quit you know that's cool and i can still you know stomp the shit out of them but um you know at least he was gonna play the no box i mean he knew he understood the concept he understood the of the game you know a lot of these guys are like what are you talking about no box you kind of got to explain everything to them but i mean this guy was like yeah let's do it i'll fuck you up you know you're gonna get wrecked you know all that shit and i said oh that's not gonna happen and you can see i'm just dominating him ahead of kills the whole time on this guy and uh but i don't really get the goal i i really wanted to go you know 150 200 over this guy but you know, he had to rage quit on 10, you know, it's just the way it was. The, the only, I wanted to prevent that from happening, That's that was one of the reasons why I wanted to get the power on. Plus, I don't like to do second round of dogs without power. I mean, I don't. I like to play careful and safe, and I'm like, you know, I'm not going to press my luck either. But I know for these guys, um, you know, I, I want to try to help them. You know, I could have easily, there was, you just saw a second ago, I, I just saved his ass. Um, you know, I could have easily, the game pretty could have easily ended at round seven when that zombie was coming out behind him. That probably would have, like, double tagged him and dropped him there, and then he would have quit, and it would have been, and then I would have had, like, you know, I think I got 28 kills on him, and, uh, I don't know, there, I know I had him in headshots, too. Not that I give a shit about headshots, I care about kills more than headshots, because usually I'm using Sally's. And, you know, I'm not going to get headshots. But I, I care about the kills. Kills are the most important to me. I want to fucking get the kills. Now, when you're going to play a friendly game with somebody, I don't care about that shit. I mean, I'll kill fast. But if, you know, if they're a white player, I'll let them in the Thunder Gun. They get all the kills. You know, that's that's fine. I'm, I'm cool with that because I'm playing, you know, we're playing a team. It's a team game, you know. But these guys like to play their little game. So that's what his friend tried to do. His friend tried to play little sneaky with me and it was like you know we played one game together as you'll see pretty soon and uh, you know I had a really big lead on him I think it was like 40 I had like 40 kills and he had like 13 and you know he was he was using the M14 and I was using M14 and he saw it wasn't working out for him so he's like yeah let's restart and then you know I don't know if he down on purpose or, or just downed or something but you know I was like okay fine we'll restart but what he wanted to do is he wanted to get the... You know, everything worked for him. It was so funny. Everything worked this way. Yeah, but I'm getting away ahead of myself. I'm going to uh, wait on that until we get to that next game. But right here, you know, he this guy bailed out. He realized he wasn't going to be able to... Um, He was only going to further... In fact, this guy kind of helped him. 
he would have fr fallen even further behind if he would have stayed with me. He, you know, he was with me in the fire trap room, and I was just, like, killing everything. So, you know, I, I knew dogs were coming. So I said, I'm opening this door. I'm going to get the power on him and get Jug. And I should have did it sooner because it would have helped him out because he probably would have got Jug, and he probably wouldn't have died on dogs. And that's that was really my aim. I didn't want him to die on dogs and quit, but that's exactly what ended up happening. Um, so, you know, what can I do? I mean, I wanted, I wanted to go way past this guy in kills. I wanted to really, you know, just totally obliterate him. And I didn't get that. I mean, I, I won. I won the game. You know, he quit. You know, it's fine. I out-survived him. But I really like to annihilate these guys. I really like to show them how fucking bad they are. And it was the same thing with his friend. I, because you'll see he kind of played dirty, but I still went ahead of him. I got a pretty good lead on him. But not as much as I want to. So that's it for that game. This guy, he rage quit. Never heard of another word out of this guy. I've gotten a part. I got into. I, I joined his session in progress. He wouldn't use his mic. He was. He was standing there in the lobby. I knew he was there. He was not away. He had his headset on. He was listening to me talk. Would not talk. I mean, totally deaf mute. And that's exactly what it was like for his friend too. And this is his friend. His friend tried to be chill with me in this game. And we were like, hey, I'm white player. Let's just play a, you know, we're going to play a game. I was going to say, hey, I'll show you how I run the fire trap. And that's what we were pretty much talking about. You know, we were just going to play a chill game. I wasn't really being super aggressive. I was just being the normal, you know, I'm just going to kill zombies. And that's pretty much what I did for, for the next game, too. Um, even though I knew what, the, what this guy was up to. You know, he he didn't he thought he was playing it. He thought he was fooling me, but that's how stupid he is. He he didn't have me fooled for a second. These guys do not these guys really underestimate how smart I am. Uh <laughs> but you know, I knew what the guy was doing when he wanted to restart. He was just he's like, No, I wanna I wanna fucking be chill this what his plan was he wanted to be chill with me. He wanted to, you know, get the guns out of the box and, you know, take take the lead and and then when 20 rounds came, or however however long we played, he was going to turn around and tell me that I suck dick, that he was better than me, look at his kills, look at my kills. That's pretty much what this fucking guy um, tried to do. And, you know, I'd, I was a little bit smarter than that. Um, the only way for that I was going to do it, but see, I determined I was like, I'm going to only use wall guns. That's what I told the guy. I said, I'm not using the box. Uh, I'm going to get wall guns. And, uh, you know, I, cause I knew what he was doing, you know, cause I mean, look at the lead I got on him already. And, uh, you know, he knew it, he knew it, he didn't like it. And, uh, you know, that's when I knew he wasn't going to play a chill game. He wasn't, he was, he was out to play a competitive game. He was out to say that he was better than me. And, you know, that's, that's why he wanted to do a, do a restart. In fact, I probably shouldn't even restart, but he probably would have just rage quit. And it was funny. I was just going to restart the game. And another thing that was really bullshit is when you'll, you'll see I'm white player and he's uh, he's blue. He ends up in the next game, he ends up being white and I end up being yellow. So, um, you know, I mean, look at I'm just totally annihilating this guy. I mean, this is worse than what I did to his friend, but... And I wasn't really trying to. I was just like, I was urging him. I'm like, man, get a fucking gun off the wall. Let's, you know, kill these zombies fast. You know, we're playing a chill game. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's not. We're, we're on the same team. We're that. That was basically my, my, my impression. He was, he wasn't talking shit in the beginning. He wasn't trying to like, you know. But he was friends with this guy. Is Mika? I guess his name's Mika Millionaire or Mil, Mika Million O Seven, the guy from the last game. And this is Black Metal, so yeah, you know, he's friends with the guy. We talked. He said, "Yeah, the guy talks some shit." You know, he's like, "Yeah, I totally understand." And you know, he's like, "He's like, I know, I know what he's like." And you know, he just tried to be all, you know, he he thought he's being be chill with me, but. You know, so I thought he was probably cool in, you know, in this game. But then when he started to, like, say, hey, let's restart. I don't like this game. You know, let's let's do it over. 
you know, that's that's what he said right here, saying boom, he's, the mic's going up, and I'm like, man, come on, I don't really want to fucking, <sighs> it's not what I want to do, but, you know, he wanted the box to be up there, because he needs the box, he needs the box, and, uh, you know, luck went, luck was going his way, luck definitely went his way, because I should have definitely went way over this guy in fucking kills, I mean, way over this guy. I mean, I should have been a couple hundred over this guy. If he would have played, see, this where he get, took his down. I don't know if it was purposeful or or if he just got But I said, you know what, since he took it down, I'm going to fucking restart it. And then I tried to restart, and he was out, and he said, oh, my disc is scratched, and blah, blah, blah. So here's the restart. It's a new lobby, and, you know, so, you know, I get my gun, and I'm, you know, chill. You know, I'm just doing my thing. And um, right away, I mean, this guy, you could tell he's being more competitive. That's where I kind of knew it. it. was like, I don't mind him to be that way. That's fine, you know. I want him to, but I just, like, I knew he was up to something right then and there. It's like, this guy is, he doesn't he doesn't want to uh, play that kind of game. This guy wants to prove to me that he's a better player than me. So, you know, I, I knew right then and there, you know, that he upped it up. So... So I kind of just played along with it. It was all right. I mean, for for the majority of this game, this guy stayed in the lead. And you'll see why. You'll see why really fast. This guy fucking gets an HK out of the fucking box right away. See, he was... See, everything... Everything... Luck was running this guy's way. This guy had everything running his way. That box just happened to be... He was banking on that box being there uh, when we restart. He wanted that box to be in that, in that uh, first room upstairs. And see, I'm not at all interested in the box. But I was like, you know, I don't really care because we're playing a chill game. We're not competing here. But that's that's what, that's what you know, he wanted me to think, you know. He, he's like, oh, you think we're not competing here, you know. He's, he's, he's thinking he's pulling the wool over my eyes. But what can I do? The box is there. I don't want the fucking box. I don't need the box. I'm sure as fuck not going to hit the box and get unlucky and get like a China Lake or something. So, I mean, I'm not going to fucking play that. You know, if they're going to hit the box and they get lucky. I mean, this guy could have got really lucky. He could have got a fucking ray gun. But I think he was happy with what he got. He ended up getting like a Galil and an HK or something right away. So, you know, yeah, here I am using an M14. And I got to try to keep up with a guy that's got a fucking Galil and an HK, right? Uh, it's pretty difficult, if not impossible, to do. Um, it's just not going to happen. So that's why he, this guy got a, like a big lead. And then you'll see pretty soon what he does is uh, that's when I really knew what the fuck he was up to is when I he, he shot the teleporter without riding it. He didn't want me to go up in the teleporter and get my sallies because that's when it would be all over for him. Once I get them sallies, I got a huge advantage. You know, sure, he's got the fucking box. But, you know, I'm going to be able to, like, really eat up the zombies really good with Sally's. This guy probably can't even fucking use Sally's. He probably kills himself. Like, most of these randoms uh, kill themselves with Sally's. That's why they don't use them. So that's, like, another advantage I have over these people. But you know what? If someone called me out, let me tell you something. If someone called me out and said, look, let's do no Sally's, straight wall guns. We could pack a punch them. I'd be totally cool with that as well. You know, I just get the Sally's because I, you know, they could get the Sally's too. You know, it, that's, that's, it's not unfair. It's un, what's unfair is when you got that box and you get a good gun out of it. And, you know, that's, that's all in the luck. You get the thunder gun, you get the ray gun, you know, you got a huge advantage and, you know, the, that's the luckiest person wins. I mean, we could play a hundred games out of a hundred games if no box and, you know, the best player is going to win every fucking time. You know, I could play 100 games with this guy. I'm going to win all 100 games easily. Okay, I could play 100 games with his friend with uh, Mika Million 07. I'm going to win every one of those games. Every 100, all 100 of those games. So, this guy is just cleaning up, man. He's got, he's got the advantage. He's got the box gun. I got this you know m14 but you know i'm like you know i'm just playing along with it you know i'm only a couple behind 
So, you know, that's the only way he could keep up. I mean, we saw what happened in the last game. <laughs> that that was that's all the proof you need. You saw the, what the kills were the last game, you know, it was fucking 39 to 13. So, um uh, or 40, no, it was 40. Yeah, it was 40 to 13. So, um you know, that that was all that was all the proof I needed. I know I can outkill this guy if if we're on an equal playing field. I could totally I'll kill this guy just like I can his friend, just like I can all his friends. All his friends on his on his friends list that play zombies that have 50s and 60s and maybe even some of them have 70s on their leaderboard. You know they want to throw their friends at me. Bring it on! I like the challenge. Come on, see if you could outkill me. Uh, you won't be able to. I know you won't be able to because you don't do your homework. You don't know how to play this game. So, you know what I really could have did earlier? I, I waited to get the um, door open and get the the MPL. That's how I was just playing, playing around. I'm like, yeah, I know this guy's fucking totally creaming me with his fucking Galil and shit. But, you know, I was just like, you know, who cares? I'm going to use an M14 and I will, you know, I'll, you know, I'll just push it with an M14 and I'll still, you know, stay with you. I mean, I, I fell a couple couple kills behind, but, you know, I still stay with them with an M14. I could have, you know, gone for the MPL sooner and it would have helped me out, but, you know, I didn't care. I really didn't care. I knew once I got those sallies, that was my whole game plan. I'm like, you know, I'm going to get those sallies. And he knew that, too. I think he, he knew that, too. That's why he shot the teleporter. He's like, I know you want to go upgrade that fucking pistol. And, um, you know... This guy still can't go 20 rounds without a down. He ends up down, but he doesn't rage quit. He didn't like. He's not like his friend. He's like, I'm not. He's not gonna rage quit. But he went completely quiet. He he would not. You know, before he was talking, he was being friendly, but then he was like, he wasn't saying shit. And he's been a deaf mute ever since. Ever since, uh, you know, this game, you know, I ended the round. I ended up after 20 rounds. Um. I had a I had a lead over him, you know. I had to catch up because he he had a good lead on me at one time, because he had he had a you know he had the advantage. He had the HK and the Galil, and you know he had a huge advantage. Here I am just using a fucking wall gun, so it was yeah it was it's it's difficult to try to um out kill somebody that is uh. I don't even, I don't, I can't even call this guy a decent player, but whatever you want to call him, I mean, he's not, you know, this is some of the best that the random lobbies have to offer. I mean, he's got a 58 on the leaderboard, um, but here I am hanging out. Another thing, he wanted to leave the power off for like, you know, of course, naturally he would want to leave, he's got an HK and a Galil, he wants to leave the power off and camp in the a theater and just, you know rack up a bunch of kills a bunch of points of course of course you know and i was like no nah, fuck that i said we're turning the power on i want fucking jug we ain't fucking playing like that so you know he didn't really like that but i'm like you know fuck that i'm not gonna you know i i got a wall gun you know he didn't want to. He didn't want to play fair at all. So this guy just really played sneak. But I just thought it was so funny how this game. You're gonna see how this game just backfires on him. And just uh, to give a spoiler, he ends up getting a thunder gun. He ends up bleeding, dying out. You know, I kind of like let him die out because I wanted to get my sallies because he shot the fucking teleporter. So I didn't really um, try to revive him. So I was like, you know, I'm going to get the teleporter. I'm going to get my Sally. And that's what I did. And that's when I totally caught up to him and then passed him up. Passed him up. And then he hit the box and he got the thunder gun. So, I mean, everything. Luck was just on this guy's side. This guy should have been nowhere near me. Nowhere near me. I mean, I only had a very small lead on him. I only had about a 30 kill lead on him at the end of this game. And he should have been nowhere near nowhere near uh i should have been totally i would should have been on 200 kills 150 to 200 kills over this guy in 20 rounds 
Probably, uh, yeah, definitely. If he would have used straight wall guns, I would say definitely I would have gone at least 200 over this guy. Easily. And he, he probably, he probably would have took more downs, too. I mean, this guy, he just, he's like a lot of these guys. He can't, he needs that box so much. He can't do 20 rounds with, you know, wall guns and sallies. I doubt he could use sallies. Or else he probably would have kept his pistol. And see here where I am. I'm like, man, I'm getting that fucking power on. You know, he didn't even open that door. See, he didn't want to open that fucking door. He went to camp in there with his HK. And, you know, he, he was set to rack up a bunch of kills. So, here I am. I'm like, fuck, man. At least he was nice. I didn't think he was going to open this door, but he ended up doing it. I was like, come on, dude, open this door, open this door. And he did it. And then he, he thought I was going to leave the power off. I'm like, man, I'm not leaving the power off. I told him that from the beginning. And I was like, he's like, oh, man. It's like, I hate turning the power on this. Pretty much what he said. I said, why? He's like, oh, because that's how you fucking play. I said, no, that's not how fucking good players play. You know, I tried to explain to this guy. He doesn't, he doesn't understand how good players play because he doesn't know really good players. All he knows is the random the random noobs in the lobbies. They they're not good players. Not good players. You know the world record on this on this map with two players is 158 rounds, and the people that play the 100 and there's another thing he said. Why did you get that max ammo? We're limited in max ammos. That's not fucking true. You're not limited on fucking drops in this game. You get four drops per round at a maximum. You can only get four drops per not, per round, but there's not a limit of drops. If you believe that, you're a fucking idiot, okay? And I tried to I tried to explain that to this guy. I, I know you didn't want to listen to it, but I told him. I said, you know, if you know people that play solo, I mean, the world record, the solo world record right now is 227. But anybody that's played the 200. If you know what insta kill rounds, what I pretty much tried to explain to him is insta kill rounds start at 163, and they're every odd round until 200. So you know, like 163, 165, 167, you know, and um, 199 is an insta kill round. Um, when what an insta kill round is, just for people that are listening, don't understand what the fuck I'm talking about. He probably didn't know what I was talking about either, so I explained it to him. Insta kill rounds is 163 in every odd round until 200. The zombies return back to round one health, and so they die at like you know one shot. You could just pack a punch a gun and just you know kill them all. You could knife the zombies. They're round one health. So what happens around one health when 163 people get their four drops every round that's how you know drops don't run out because if you're still getting four drops every insta kill round at like 163 at 200 at 200 and whatever you know guess what you know drops aren't running out and you know people are going to say oh that's so no that's not that's co-op too <laughs> it's how it, how it works drops do not run out if you believe drops run out, you're a fucking idiot. Plus, we're only playing 20 rounds. Even if drops did run out, I mean, what the fuck does it matter when you're playing 20 rounds? But you, drops do not run out. They don't run out. So this guy, I don't know what he's doing. He's doing his normal little train thing. He's got his guns, but he still can't. He still has to uh, train a little bit too much. I don't really have the fucking ammo. But, you know, yeah, I stay pretty much... Uh, a little, a little bit in the back, uh, this game, for for most of it, but then I, but then I catch up, and I make that comeback. So, you know, this guy wants to play dirty and shoot the teleporter. So that's when I really knew what was fucking up. See, he just shot the teleporter. That's why I really do. And I said, why'd you do that, man? He didn't answer. That's when he stopped talking completely. He didn't say fucking shit. And it's like, yep, I know what this guy's doing. I, It was my suspicion all along. I mean, that's where I really knew it. I mean, I knew it all along. But that was like, that was like when you really knew it for sure, is when he did that. When he just shot that teleporter so I couldn't take it. 
um, you know, then I really knew what was what was going on. This guy was just trying to f fucking be sneaky. He was, you know, trying to get all those kills, and you know, it was fine. He had advantage. He had wall, uh, box guns, and uh, you know, he wasn't playing on an equal playing field. But I still, I knew I was gonna, I was gonna get this game. I'm like, you know, I don't care what he does. I said once I get those sallies. And I kind of figured he was going to take it down. Even though I didn't want him to take it down, I knew I knew he would because he's a fucking scrub. All these stupid lobby scrubs cannot. I don't care if they got 70s on their leaderboard. They still, most of them can't fucking go 20 rounds without taking it down. That's how, how bad they are. Um, and it's It's sad. But you know they don't they don't learn how to play this game. They don't they don't watch videos. They don't watch the best players like I do, and you know that's why I'm the way I am. I, I learn from the best. It's 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 really that fucking easy. If you want to be, I'm just a decent fucking zombie player. I'm not a fucking. That's why I can't call these guys decent because I'm decent. You want you want to know what a decent zombie player is? You're watching you're watching one. You're you're hearing one talk. I'm a decent zombie player. Okay, I don't have fucking world records and shit. So, but I watch guys that do, and I learn a lot of shit. So, you know, I, I linked up one half of the teleporter here, and I'm not going to link up the other half because I know he's just going to run up and fucking hit it. And I'm like, no, I'm not playing that game. If he's going to run in the lobby and link it up, I'll take it without him. That was pretty much my, my plan here. Uh he, he's getting ready to take his little down pretty soon. And uh, that's pretty much when I uh, can get back into this fucking game. You know, he's got a big advantage. He's, it's, it's really difficult. It would be very difficult for me to kill with it. This, uh, he dies on an insta-kill, too. Yeah, that's an art thing. I totally forgot about that. How do, you got to be a fucking stupid-ass fucking scrub with those two guns to fucking die on insta-kill. That is so fucking pathetic. And see, I just got the fuck out of there because I don't, all I got is this fucking pistol. And I'm like, you know, but if I had those fucking guns that he had, I, or even a fucking, um, even if I, I had a lot of, uh, ammo in my, um, in my MPL, I would not have even come, I would have just totally like sprayed with those. See, I don't have any shots in my MPL hardly, so that's why I took off. You know, so I would have stayed there and just killed the zombies in the theater, but, you know, I didn't have anything but the pistol, so I'm like, you know what, you know, I'm going to bail out, and, uh, pretty much what I did, get that teleporter linked up, because I want to get my, um, get my pistol upgraded. So yeah, right here, I'm just pretty much, like, training, like, you don't see too many uh, people train. But. Yeah. I just want to get this teleporter. And get some. Get some Mustang and Sally's. And then I know I'll be able to. Pass this guy up. That's how. That's how I got to get. Back. That's that's the only way I could get back in the game. You know, I can only box. I'd have to hit the box, and I could have. What I could have do is he he get the thunder gun on the next hit of the box. I could have got the thunder gun. All I would have do is go up and hit that box. I mean, but I didn't know that would happen. I mean, I wasn't gonna about to try my luck. I'd rather get the Sallys. That way I know. But that could have easily happened to me, and you know, it would have been definitely all over for him. You know. Because I would have grabbed that Thunder Gun kept, still kept the Sally. So I would have had Mustang and Sally and Thunder Gun. Yeah. So let's get the Mustang and Sally's. And, uh. Yep. Yeah, I just thought, I thought it was really funny that this guy tried to be so sneaky like this. He tried to play off all cool. And it really just backfired on him. You know, he's still in the lead. Still got a little lead on me. And, uh, you know, that's about to change really fast. 
<laughs> and I'm like, hey, there's a max ammo. I guess I should leave it. I mean, we're going to run out of max ammos, right? No. I'm not going to leave a max ammo. You never leave a fucking max ammo. If you leave a max ammo, you're a fucking moron. Okay? You should never leave. You don't understand how the drop cycle works. Okay? You just you just don't. If you, if you think you're going to run out of drops. So, anyway... You know, I, I like to learn from the best players, and they understand how the drop cycle works. Um, it's, a lot of thought goes into uh, the way you force the drops and the way you work the drops. Um, it's not really much what I'm going to get into in this video. I have talked about that in other videos that I've done commentary on where I've done tips videos. I've talked about, you know, pretty much you get the four drops every round. You want to force those drops. So then, you know, because they usually work in an order. I mean, yeah, they'll, they'll skip, um, but usually they work in an order. you got to pay attention to the order of them. But usually they'll go from one drop to the next to the next. I mean, you have pretty much, um, you know, with five drops, you, you pretty much have a 20% chance of getting, you know, a, a different drop. Um... So, it's kind of like, I hate this talk about Black Ops 3, but I mean, it's like the Black Ops 3, the gumball cycle. The gumball cycle usually goes from the next gumball. You have like five gumballs, and you know, you're going to get a different one of your gumballs every time, and then it's just going to, you know, it's a cycle. It's the same thing with the drops. You know, you're going to get the, the max ammo, the hammer, the double points, the insta, and the nuke. And then it's just going to repeat itself. And then once you move the box, and you got fire sales into the um, into the into the mix of drops, then you know, then you then you have that in the cycle to work with. You're gonna so you really want to force out those drops every round and try to, and because uh, then you're closer to getting that max ammo again. And then you pay attention to order of drops, and then you know pretty much uh, you get a pretty much good idea when they expect that max ammo so that's when you waste your ammo out and and then you get your because it's really stupid to if you, you get a max ammo and you have full ammo you know of course you don't leave it but you know if you if you know that it's coming up you want to waste out your ammo and then you know because you don't get drops with like traps and thunder gun you don't get any drops out of those they don't pull drop unless you're playing black ops 3 which is garbage garbage game that I don't play um, but in this game you know you don't you don't pull drops with traps you don't pull drops with a thunder gun so you use that strategically to when you got your max ammo lined up you um, you waste out the thunder gun or you know use a, a shit ton of it I'm not talking about like empty it you know you keep your four shots or your eight shots you know whatever and then you go for that drop and then you get the max ammo and you get all your ammo back so that's a smart way to play play fast so this guy uh, he's definitely knows he's not gonna win running with me so he's got to run around the map and do that shit and I'm like well you could do that I'll just fucking you know I'll just chill out in the fucking theater do my do my thing but yeah I really I really wanted to if this guy, you know, wanted to really show his face right away and, you know, show what he was about and wanted to play competitive with me, he really should have fucking um, manned up and said so in the beginning. We, I would have gone 20 rounds no box with him. But he won't do that because he, he needs the box. He's a fucking, he's a total fucking scrub. Now, what I thought he was going to do to me here I thought he was going to try to trap me when I come up from the teleporter, but he didn't even try to do that. Um, but I would have been ready for it. I was, like, totally ready for it. I was like, you know what? Because I know this guy doesn't know how to do that. Most of, them, most of these guys don't know how to fucking do that. They don't know how to... Um, I, in fact, I don't know. I've never met anybody other than myself in these random lobbies that know how to really actually trap somebody. On the, on the pad. They don't really. 
but you no, know, he didn't. He didn't try. But I, I was ready for it. He wouldn't. He wouldn't have got me anyway. No way he would have. Plus, he's white player. They're gonna be more attracted to him anyway. So I would have had a total advantage once, even if he would have put him on the pad. That might have been what he was trying to do. He might have been trying. That's why he's in the theater now. You're there. He just runs laps around. But that might have been. I, I think he just got there late. He probably thought he probably thought about it too late. But this this guy definitely does not want to be in the same area with me. I mean, with the Sallies, because I think he's smart enough to know that you know it's just not going to work out for him. That I'm going to like kill all the zombies. But you know, I'll, I'll just take what I get. Right now, I'm just pretty much trying to get you know trying to get ahead of him, trying to get actually not just get ahead of him, but just trying to catch up. Because, you know, it was he had a good lead, you know, being that he had, uh, you know, an advantage with the, with the box guns. But, you know, I'm like, I, I can catch up. I can, I can still do this. Not a problem. So, we got it. We got it. Here it is. So... But everything was going. This guy just had this guy had a horseshoe up his ass. I mean, for the box to be there, he got good guns out of the box. He didn't get shit guns. He got the thunder gun. So you know everything worked out for this guy, except for the fact that he's just he doesn't have the skill. He can't fucking. There's no way he could have beat me on an even playing field. See here, here's his horseshoe luck. I this could have happened to me. I could have got. Oh, I said here you go, take it, big boy, take it, take it. I was so confident and so sure this motherfucker was not going to fucking outkill me even with a thunder gun. I'm like it ain't happening. Take it, bring it. That's what I said to him. I said bring it, bring that shit. I knew we were getting dogs in 18. I'm like, there's, I'm, I'm taking the lead. I'm staying in the lead. And, you know, it may not be the kind of lead that I want. Because I, I don't like a fucking 30-point lead. I don't like to just be a few kills ahead of uh, a player. I don't care if they do have fucking box guns. I don't like, if I when I play one of these competitive games, I don't like to just be a few kills ahead. I like to fucking annihilate these motherfuckers and... You know, in a way, I think I, I consider I did annihilate this guy because he had such great luck in the box and he still fucking took it down on insta kill like a, with a dumbass with two fucking guns that fucking spray. I mean, that fucking HK's got 125 bullets. I mean, on insta kill, how the fuck can you be that fucking bad to have 125 rounds in your fucking clip and just be able to spray that shit and. You know what I mean? I mean, terrible, terrible. So right then, right there, it showed that he fucking he really and he knows he fucking sucks. I mean, I know damn well this guy fucking. That's why he got off, and he went to bed. I'm gonna tell you that right now. After this game, this motherfucker wouldn't say shit to me. I went to a, uh, I went to a. He left the party. I went and been back in the game chat. He didn't say nothing. I followed him into a, a, a random lobby. He didn't say shit, just like his friend. Mika Million uh, 07 wouldn't say shit back. You know, it's funny. The guys just run their mouths till they get, get, you know, get their ass handed to them. Then they, they turn into deaf mutes. It's, it's hilarious. Will not say nothing. Will not answer a message. I could send this guy messages all night. This guy is not going to message me back. His friend is not going to message me back. And they didn't block me either. You may think, well, they may have blocked me. No, they didn't block me. I know they didn't block me because I could see the friends list and I could see, um, so I know I'm not blocked. I'm not blocked. These guys, like I said, I've had this happen to me so many times. Their egos were just destroyed. And see, I'm like, I'm not going to let you reload your thunder gun. Fuck you. I'll get the fucking max ammo. You know? So you're gonna have ten shots. Ooh. 
ain't gonna help them anyway. It's not gonna help you anyway. I'm gonna fucking clean it up this round, and that's how it's gonna go. I wanna get through this round as fast as I can. I'm just gonna chill out here. And see, he thought he was gonna chill out here too, but then he's like, no, it's not gonna work for me if I chill out here, because Red Ninja's gonna kill everything. But he, what he could have done is he could have whipped out that thunder gun and actually used the fucking thing. But, you know, I don't really don't even know if he used the shot on the damn thunder gun. So, but I didn't even care if he would have. I was like, let's go, bring it. I'm taking this shit. I'm taking this shit as far as I can. I'm going to use up these fucking sallies. I don't care. It's one round. I'm quitting at 20. You know, I'm just going to waste out these sallies and then I'll start using my Pack-A-Punch uh, uh, MPL. It's pretty much what I did here. But yeah, this guy's ego, his friend's ego, both their egos were, and they have big egos. And if you guys think I have a big, I don't have a big ego. I am a decent zombie player. I know I know where I stand in the community. I don't want to be a fucking like the best player in the world. I just want to continue to get better. That's why I watch the best players. These guys have monster egos. These guys think that they're fucking top notch and they're not. They're like not even close. Not even close. Cause there's a lot of guys out there a lot faster than me and are better than me and can do shit that I can't do. And I watch them on Twitch. I watch them on YouTube and. Uh, so I know where I stand, but this guy, total garbage. So that's it. He got his ass handed to him. He tried to play a dirty game and he still lost. And he's a piece of shit like his friend. Thanks for watching. Peace out.